Hello, today I'm going to show you some whistles. They seem to be quite a nice thing to collect, lots of different variations. And as you see here, we have a whistle at the top, a bosun whistle, military one, because it's got the crow's foot, and below a cartridge extractor whistle. This next one has got a compass in it, it's a scouting whistle. The next is a double barreled one, a railway man's whistle, and a few different types here. Acme, made by J. Hudson, like this one here, that's First World War whistle. They all come with different chains on them, different materials. One's made out of brass, this one double ended, whistle at in each end. That one is Second World War, 1940, written on there. These are called general service whistles, the long and straight ones. This is a warbler. Fill it up with water, make some interesting noises. When you blow through it, it bubbles and makes bird sounds. It's called an escargo whistle because it's shaped a little bit like a snail, and BR stands for British Rail. These are siren whistles. As you blow through them, a piece inside spins round, makes a siren sound. Pewter. This one's got a rose on the end and a hole. As you cover that hole up, it changes the pitch. Silver whistles from Samson Morden. That one's a Air Marshal's Warden RAF ditching whistle. See all kinds of these all over the place when I go to fairs and shows. Thanks for watching.